Robert, how and why is this coronation significant to Nigeria? Let's cross live to London now as we speak to Nigeria's High Commissioner to the UK, Ambassador Sharafa Tunji Ishola. Good to see you, uh, Ambassador, and thanks for your time. Uh, it's a history in the making, and uh, you are the African and Nigerian uh, who is there at this moment. Let us in on what this uh, is uh, about for Nigeria as uh, another Commonwealth nation. Hello. Okay. Well, I can hear you if you can hear us. Uh, let's uh, quickly go on and uh, speak to us yes, about. Can, can, you say that, can you say that again? Can you say that again, please? Okay, uh, quickly, uh, it's an exciting moment for many Africans and Nigerians, you inclusive, and we would like to know uh, what Nigeria's part will be in this preparation for the new king. Uh, thank you very much uh, for having me. The uh, celebration of uh, the coronation is a Commonwealth uh, program. Uh, you know that Nigeria plays a prominent role in Commonwealth in many respects. Uh, as, you, as you are aware, the president, along with uh, a, a delegation of the federal government, uh, is in London uh, for, for this ceremony. Uh, just shows the uh, importance of the coronation ceremony to Nigeria. President Mohamed Dubari uh, is uh, attending the program uh, tomorrow. He has attended the Commonwealth Lake today, and they will be attending the coronation uh, tomorrow as well. So the uh, Nigerians here uh, estimated at about 1.5 million people uh, really identify with the uh, monarchy. A lot of them has uh, been uh, decorated with various national honors by the palace. And uh, this has uh, really bonded uh, them together. They, a lot of Nigerians here has also made a lot of endeavors here. So the tie between Nigeria and Britain is very strong. and. Uh, is uh, mutually appreciated. So given that uh, Nigerians, whether at home or here in UK, uh, definitely took interest in this matter and they are still taking interest in it. Uh, so many other uh, things have been lined up aside from the official ceremonies. And I'm aware that uh, a lot of Nigerian groups are putting on various activities uh, to commemorate this coronation. Right. I mean, in the midst of all of this, uh, some Aborigines are asking for apologies, uh, compensation, uh, you know, for colonization and uh, what have you. Of course, Nigeria is not part of the country is asking uh, for such, uh, you know, making such uh, demands. But what do you think a post-coronation uh, Britain and Nigeria relationship will look like? Well, thank you very much. You, you know that uh, King Charles III really value British-Nigerian relationship since his days as Prince of Wales. Uh, his focus on environment, and as far as Nigeria is concerned, he's uh, been involved in the Green World Project that is uh, uh, right now being uh, implemented in the Northeast with a view to uh, reduce uh, deforestation. Uh, in our desert and savanna area, there's an afforestation program uh, which is uh, aimed at uh, developing that part of Nigeria. We all know, and if, uh, I think a lot of Nigerians also agree, that uh, our security challenges emanated from the drying up of the Lake Chad Basin and uh, he's taking interest in the afforestation because uh, it's the lack of uh, uh, adequate forest for the pastoralists that involve their movement downwards and uh, leading to farmers and other clashes. So these are issues of security concern uh, in the Chad Basin and he's taking interest in it. Uh, the, the Prince Charles there and Prince of Wales, now King Charles, uh, visited Nigeria he 
on numerous occasions is taking interest in African Center, particularly Nigeria. And uh, he has uh, been the forefront that the business relationship between Nigeria and Britain uh, should move from its present status to, uh, some, uh, to, to more beneficial and uh, higher in volume on both sides. And are there specific issues uh, you think that uh, Nigeria is expecting the king to tackle that uh, may affect uh, uh, better relations uh, between the two countries? Yes, uh, I already mentioned that what we need now is to strengthen the business relationship between Britain and Nigeria. Uh, because uh, the volume of investment in terms of FDI going to Nigeria compared to uh, those coming from Germany and uh, some other uh, countries uh, such that uh, of concern. And this has been expressed on several occasions uh, by the president, uh, by President Muhammadu Buhari. And I've also followed up and emphasized on this, visited the Secretary of uh, Trade, uh, who also happened to be a, a British of Nigeria descent, and uh, uh, a lot of other discussions even in parliament, uh, even in all party parliamentary group is going on. Uh, and we have no doubt in our mind that, uh, that the king will play a positive role uh, in, in this direction. All right. Uh, well, uh, Rufa, um, <laughs> did I say Rufa Salai? I'm sure you want to make a point there. But very quickly, yeah. uh, on the issue I raised uh, with you earlier, uh, Mr. High Commissioner, the demand uh, being made by aborigines, uh, you know, uh, asking for compensation for colonization. Of course, Nigeria was colonized uh, also by Britain. Why do you think Nigeria is not even making a case in that uh, direction? Shouldn't we be uh, joining in this voice? Yes, uh, you know, but you know, Nigeria is a unique country. We have uh, our own strategy. Uh, we, we are not known to copy other countries because our circumstances are different. Um, if you recall very well, uh, we started on the issue of uh, repatriation of artifacts. Uh, we have made a headway on that in the last two years. The first set was to, uh, I delivered the first set of artifacts to Benin. Um, uh, that was as given by the uh, Cambridge University. Then it was also followed by that from the the uh, University of Aberdeen. Uh, after that, the Honeyman Museum has also released some, and a couple of months more will come. So that's something in the positive direction. Nigeria, by nature, uh, engage in dialogue, you know, because uh, this relationship between Nigeria and Britain is much valued, by, you know, on both sides. And the agitation, confrontation, and things like that don't post produce re 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 results. And that's not even in the Nigerian character. We just assemble uh, our team to engage with the British authorities and uh, quietly achieve results. Okay, before we let you go, it's just not uh, every time we get uh, the chance. Uh, we know it's a busy moment for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. The president is there. And there is the eve of the coronation and another moment for Nigerians to ask if there was anything the country through uh, the office uh, you lead in the UK uh, concerning Nigeria's uh, senator uh, who's just been sentenced. Uh, did you make any uh, move on behalf of the government and people of Nigeria? Well, you know, that's uh, uh, a statement will come later on that. I don't want to preempt that, that statement on this interview. All right. Thank you very much. I uh, guess there, Ambassador <coughs> Sharafa uh, Tunji Shola, Nigeria's High Commissioner uh, to uh, Britain there, speaking to us on the eve of uh, the coronation.